Okay, we are back after the stinking tower was finally finished. This is the first gym, which is what I have to do next. Uh, it's Falconer's gym. And here's the standard guy who tells you um, what you need to do to each gym. See, he's telling me that grass types are bad against flying types, which is why Chikorita is not going to be much help here. Um, then you have to fight, I believe, two trainers before getting to Falconer. Most gyms have puzzles, but it's standard that the first gym doesn't have much. So, we're just going to fight two losers who have... Oh, this guy's got a Spearow. Well, guess what, buddy? My Spearow's better. Yeah, it's one level higher and about to level up again. I'll out peck you. Oh gosh, the pain. Really, there isn't much to say about this gem, except for Falcon himself. Um, which I'll get to in a moment. Just gonna out peck this hero. And ding a ling ling, level 11. I'm probably actually gonna keep this Spearow on my team. I'm. I've never used a Spearow in my party. Um, so I thought this might be a nice chance to try. Usually I'm a Pidgey person, but I don't know. I shouldn't feel like a Pidgey this time. Okay, random person. Let's fight. Do -do -do -do. Another bird keeper. Bird keepers look dumb in this version. They got these retarded mohawks. Uh, okay. Really weak Pidgey. I can handle this. Actually, my Chikorita can handle this, because I don't think this Pidgey knows Gus. Oh, my cow! Well, critical hit on that. Let's go on. Another Pidgey. Who would have thunk it? And it's the same bloody level. Die, Pidgey. Ah, it tackled me. And there goes the Pidgey. Well, that was easy. Okay, I need to heal really fast, um, so I'm gonna cut that out. Be right back. Alright, we are back. After I leveled up my Spearow real fast to level 12, I also changed the text speed to fast, so now it's not, we're not gonna have to wait to see what they're saying. I'm Falconer, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. I never would have guessed. Actually, that's true, but you can't get any Electric-type Pokemon until you beat him, so that's completely worthless. Really, there's not much that you um, can have. I suppose you could have a Geodude to combat him, but other than that... Oh yeah, you could also trade a Bellsprout for an Onyx, but I don't see the point. Anyway, wait a minute. You mean the Great Gym Leader has a level 7 Pidgey as a starter? I'm disappointed. Oh no, Tackle. This will be a tough battle. Oh wait, no, no it won't. Because the Pidgey just fainted. Okay, that was really easy. And now we got a Pidgeotto. Well, that's more like it, but that's all he has. A Pidgey and a Pidgeotto. You could have at least had a Spear or two. And it's a level 9 Pidgeotto. Okay, I thought it was at least level 12. I I'm disappointed. Although it does no Gust, so that would have been bad for my Chikorita. And it's doing decent damage, actually. But this guy's a hacker. How can he have a level 9 Pidgeotto? It has to be like level 18 to evolve, so... This guy's doing the impossible. Oh yeah, and I gave my Spearow a berry just in case this was going to be a hard battle. Now I'm regretting it because I was a waste of a berry, but whatever. Oh, critical hit. Okay. That so-called hard gym leader was not. Your dad was a really bad trainer if he never got his Pidgeotto to be on level 9. Whatever. I'm disappointed. Give me that badge. Don't get lost. But really, I'm actually okay with Falconer. He's a cool looking guy. And I've got to give him credit for using flying types. I think flying types are pretty cool. Every time you get a gym leader, you'll get money, a badge, and a TM. Um, and I'm probably not going to use many TMs in this game. I generally don't. So that was Mud Slap. Hooray. Um, and he'll tell you about those gems that are... Yeah, you're, you're not going to get very far with a level 9 Pidgeotto, buddy. I'm sorry. Um, gym leaders do get a lot harder later on. I was just worried about this guy because he's got a Chikorita. 
And yeah, if you examine the pillar, then you'll see that um, you're the only person who's actually won against him, so... I don't know. Oh! Professor Elm's calling! We discovered something about the egg. Is it really that good to eat? Um... Fine, you could've just told me yourself over the phone, but I guess you didn't want to, you pompous jerk. Well, let's go to the Pokemon Center and find out what he wanted to tell us. Here's the assistant. Yeah, I know, it was a whole day. Huh? Well, okay. Mmm, that'll feed me for at least a day. Oh, he wants me to hatch it. You know, it's really sad when I'm the only person these people can rely on. Come on now. But, oh, basically, with the egg, you need to walk a certain distance and it will hatch. Um, most people should already know what this one hatches into, but in case you don't, I'll keep it as a surprise. Um, I'll carry it around with me since I don't have six Pokemon I'm training at the moment. I mean... I've got a bunch of Pokemon on the PC, but I don't really want to use any of them, so... See, I've got... I don't even need my center at the moment. And I'm gonna keep my Pidgey just in case I need to weaken things. Uh... That's about all you have to do in this town. Once you get the badge, you can move on. Um, there, in that house down there, there's a guy who offers to trade a bell sprout for an onyx, but I'm not very interested. This guy up here is just funny. If you talk to him, he'll spin around. <laughs> and he talks in a weird fashion. If you say no to him, he'll lead you to the school and you can learn some stuff, but I'm not really interested. If you try to go this way, then, um, you'll find Route 36, but unfortunately, it's blocked. Yeah, instead of a Snorlax, it's time to get a flipping tree blocking you. So, you can't deal with that till later. Um, it's not a tree that you cut down, it's one that you... Well, you'll see. Until then, we're moving on. This is the way you need to go to get out of here. And there's a berry tree here, and I'll take that paralyzed tree berry, thank you very much. Put an item pocket, and we can move on. Okay, in gold and silver, you can um, find Marief in this area, which really ticked me off because it's an Electrotype Pokemon right after Faulkner. You'd think you'd want it. But in Crystal, they apparently don't have Marief, so I'm very angry about that. Okay, this guy, if you tried to go down here earlier, he would stop you until you get the badge. But... Since I already beat him, he'll give me something. So if you, give, if you have a Chikorita or a Bellsprout in your party, Miracle Seed's actually a nice thing to give to them at this early point in the game. Yeah, I'm sure they will, buddy. Um, so I'm gonna quickly equip that to my Chikorita. And uh, where is it? Hello? Oh, it must be in this pocket. Gosh darn it, it's been a while since I messed around with pockets. Yeah, I gave Chikorita a berry in case it needed it, but apparently it didn't. Um, and, I don't know. Like I said, I like to have my Pokemon hold things because it makes them happier. Anyway, that's all for this, and this route is kind of boring, so I'm going to speed through it. I'll, I'll put up another video with a speed through the route, so be back shortly.